Um, I think sound and everything that happens with sound, its echoes or other things are really great metaphors to use uh, in, for visual language or to use them to understand uh, how we think, how we live and what happens with us in our life. If we, if we, like, if we take sound as a symbol for a person or for a life, um, I think for me it, that's just very, very interesting. That, that's why for this exhibition I chose echo. Before that I have worked with non-existent sounds, sounds that are in memories or uh, in, in minds, but uh, this one is more related actually to environment around us, to, to the places where we live, to people that we meet, and um, yeah, and, and um, how they echo. And uh, what is very interesting, especially about echo, is that uh, you can see, you can hear it only when there is this distance between the source, uh, source and the listener. And yeah, like the, the source, uh, the reflection place, and then the listener. And also here, I am uh, speaking about those uh, environments, those places that are already distant now from my life. But I still, I feel the echo and they are really echoing now in this period of my life very strongly. This contrast between abstraction and uh, precise line is very important because I think it actually also works as a tool to really to describe echo. Because when we hear echo, it's not the it's not like a real sound that that was uh, that we, uh, that was in the source. And also these paintings that you see, uh, they are not realistic from those places. You can definitely recognize them, I think, but uh, but they are only left like a skeleton, like an impression of them. So that's why it is uh, there. There is this abstraction to 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 bring uh, visitor away from the reality, but also there are some things to recognize. What what was it in the beginning? <laughs> 